صلى الله عليه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه أما بعد We need protection from Allah Every laptop needs an antivirus and Allah has the highest of all examples Your laptop needs protection Indeed we are in greater need of such protection and protection does not come except from Allah Azza wa Jal so what is the firewall that protects us with the grace of Allah? It's the dhikr. And we all know that the devils take the worst of places to live in, such as dumpsters, toilets, uh, and the likes, graveyards. So what and how can we protect ourselves when we enter lavatories? The toilets. The dua is crystal clear. Bismillah. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuth wal khabaith. There are two ways of saying it. Al-khubuth or al-khubth. So one of the virgins means khubuth, males of the devils, khabaith, females of the devils. And al-khubth is anything that is filthy, anything that is not appropriate. And al-khaba'ith, the other meaning for it is both men and women or males and females of the devils. So again, we say in the beginning, Bismillah. Why? To protect ourselves from the eyesight of the jinn. And we say this dua because we need Allah's protection when in being in such place we're surrounded by the devils so that they won't attack us or do anything. So I go with full confidence that Allah is with me because I've said the dua of protection. You need this. It's not something that you may have a choice. You have to say it in order to be protected. I did what I had to do and then I want to leave the toilet. What should I say? Ghufranak. The Prophet ﷺ used to say, Ghufranak, which translates to, I ask you, Allah, for forgiveness. Why do I say such a thing? Scholars say that you ask Allah for forgiveness because as Allah relieved your body from toxic waste, from things that are harmful for your body, as Allah Azza wa Jal facilitated you to eat and drink and now gave you the permission to dispose of such waste, likewise, you have a lot on your shoulders, meaning sins that burden you. So you ask Allah Azza wa Jal, as He gracefully relieved you from such waste and filth that may have harmed your body, you pray to him that he relieves you from your sins that may take you to his torment and wrath on the day of judgment. Now, after we relieve ourselves, usually, usually, people perform wudu. So what to do when you want to start your ablution? Bismillah. The sunnah is to say Bismillah. Is it mandatory? No, it's not mandatory. It is highly recommended according to the most authentic opinion of scholars. Okay, very well. What should we do while doing wudu? Because I've heard some people and I've read somewhere that when washing the face, we say a particular thing. When we wash our arms, we say a particular dua. All of this is bogus. All of these duas, no matter where you read them, are fabricated, are not related to Islam, nor the Qur'an, nor the Sunnah. So where did they get them from? It's none of my business. What concerns me is this is not authentic. The Prophet had never done it, alayhi salatu nor his companions. So these folks who fabricate things and tell you you have to say, Oh Allah, do this to my face when you wash your face in evolution, all of this is bogus.
So you just say Bismillah in the beginning. You make your thing, you make your wudu, your ablution, you wash your feet. After finishing washing your feet and concluding your wudu, you say this dua. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdah, la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdah, la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. What is this? This is the testimony of Tawheed. You say this, you acknowledge that saying this opens the gates of Jannah for you. It makes Allah Azza wa Jal pleased with you and grants you a lot of re reward. That's all. This is one way of saying dhikr after ablution. Another dhikr is this one. اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين. O oh Allah, through the process of my wudu, make me among those who frequently repent to you and make me among those who remain clean and pure and because this is a means of purification. Is this the only du'as I can say? No. There is also a great dua and this is usually known as kafaratul majlis but it is also said as mother Aisha tells us in another authentic hadith whenever the Prophet ﷺ concludes reciting the Quran, whenever the Prophet ﷺ concludes a gathering and whenever the Prophet ﷺ concluded doing wudu, a beautiful dua. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أمت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك All of these dhikr you hear is composed of praising Allah Azza wa Jal glorifying Allah Azza wa Jal the testimony of Tawheed there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jal and on stating that Subhanahu Azza wa Jal is the one who provides us with forgiveness and he's the one who repent upon us when we ask him for repentance and we seek his forgiveness. What does this show you? It shows you that Islam is based on the relationship between a servant of Allah and his master, his Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth, who has no partner, who has no child, who has no spouse, who has no affiliated associate with him. The one without a beginning, the last without an end, subhanahu azza wa jal. This is the beauty of our religion. This is all the time we have. Until we meet next time, I leave you for your mind. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.